Hey everybody, Corbin Lunsford from the Building Performance Workshop. I am here with the Fantech team. This is only a few of them. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people who are all technical experts and we're all presenting at IBS, which is the International Builders Show. It's a week long, it's huge. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people, thousands and thousands of exhibitors. This happens to be the, one of the best ventilation exhibits in the world right now. So if you are not here, I'm gonna show you around. Uh, this is Phil. And he is going to be our uh, host today. So first of all, let's explore the story of construction quality oversight. This is a beautiful booth, and you guys were putting this together. And of course, there's a general contractor yep. who is Alexi, and he was uh, just overseeing the macro thing. And of course, we've got installers who are here specifically to install ventilation equipment. And we've got this beautiful kitchen exhaust hood, which is on right now, and you can hardly hear it. But even though you can hardly hear it, it is making a little bit of noise. So Phil, can you kind of tell us what, <laughs> what happened here? Uh, well, so we sell these systems with a silencer, which is made to uh, make the, 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 the fan noise uh, diminished. Uh, but our installers uh, put it in the wrong place. So we want the, the silencer in between the fan and the hood, and they actually put it on the other side. So actually the neighbors will enjoy a quiet uh, exhaust port, but uh, that's not quite the, the and point. And this so. is yeah. why you have it inspected and tested, because this is the kind of thing, like this is this is the show, and this is the manufacturer. Like these guys indented these tools, and they said, look, here's what we want you to do, and they did it backwards, even though they were told by the people who invented it. So please remember that in every house this could happen. So what else do we have here? We've got, uh, first of all, an HRV system, or an ERV, which one? E HRV or ERV, we, we make both. So Great. the only difference is ERV captures yeah. moisture energy as well, and as well as heat energy, heat, HRVs only do heat energy. And you can swap the cores? You could swap the cores on certain models, yeah. Okay. There's a little cool. compatibility. I think that's kind of cool, because yeah. I tried out both. On the tiny lab, we started with an HRV core, swapped it out with an ERV core. Right. So when in doubt, got... go with ERV cores. Just when exactly. Yeah. Just always better. So we've got these terminals, and what's cool about them that I don't have on the tiny lab is that you can actually uh, can tune. adjust for airflow. Yep, yep. So that's awesome. an exhaust grill. We also have the supply grills on the other side, which are similar. Again, you can... Uh, Adjust those out. Yep. yep. Okay, cool. So it's a simple twisting motion. Yep. Very, very easy. Absolutely. Yep. And in this room is where all the magic happens. Of course, every room needs a brain system. So we've got the uh, HRV ERV. We have a giant HEPA filtration, and we're working around actual people. This is a real show. This is not a joke. Uh, HEPA filtration system right there. We've got a dryer booster. So tell us about so, the dryer booster. So the dryer booster, uh, when you have a long duct run, uh, nowadays we want to install dryers in the middle of the home where they're ergonomically correct. You know, you, you can actually bring all the clothes to the center of the home. Um, it used to be we would put dryers on the outside wall. Not so much anymore. It makes sense. You would have a short duct run. If you have a long duct run, the air in the in the duct slows down. When the air slows down, that's not a good thing. Lint builds up. Lint builds up. We have a fire hazard. And and then everyone dies. Exactly. Best case scenario, your towels don't get dry. You're running your dryer over and over again. So if you have that problem. You might need a dryer booster. Right. Or clean your vent first and then install a piece of equipment. Yep. But th this is interesting because it's not about energy efficiency. That's not nope, an energy efficient thing. Not In fact, that's anti-energy efficient, and that's because that's right. we're trying to change the conversation from energy efficiency, which is not the right conversation, to control and quality and home performance. So tuning your system for safety, for health, for making your home do exactly what you want it to do, like get your towels dry, this exactly. has nothing to do with energy, and yet super important, especially to your wife. And if you're a married man, you understand and making your wife happy is important. <laughs> so please do check out all of these things at the Fantech website. Uh, stay tuned for more from IBS. I'm going to go over and present with Brone in just a little bit. And uh, thank you very much to Fantech, by the way, for being one of the first sponsors on Home Diagnosis. So we're looking forward to that show coming out on PBS 2018. Stay tuned next time.